Hello everybody, it's Amy from Winterwood Studio and welcome to this month's art haul. This is just a small portion of what I got. Um, I opened everything else already because I was too impatient, but we're going to start with this stuff because it's less exciting. Uh, this art haul was funded by my Christmas gifts and my Christmas gift cards and I am super excited. It is going to be an absolutely spectacular haul. So get yourself something cozy to drink and come on in and let's open these packages. All right, let's start. I don't even remember what's in some of these. I'm not, I'm not sure. Let's start with this one. Um, I know what's in this one. Um, they, it was supposed to be delivered um, like three days ago when it was minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. And the mail truck I thought didn't come. And then right before I was uh, going to bed, um, it said it was delivered and I got, <laughs> I got up at like 11 o'clock at night at like minus 28 degrees to go see if it was in the mailbox because I was afraid of it, um, freezing. It was not there. <laughs> um, so even though it said delivered, it end up, ended up coming the next day for which I'm very grateful. This is the Golden Heavy Gel Medium. So this is like a, for doing, you know, impasto type techniques with your acrylic paints um and I am really excited to try this I've been talking a lot lately about how I've been feeling like I want a lot of texture and crunchiness and bumpiness in my acrylic paintings um and I'm really excited to try that um I've been trying a bunch of stuff I actually thought I got modeling paste no modeling gel I did I think I thought I got modeling gel I'm not sure if this is right it must be right though <laughs> We'll try it. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> um, let's open this one too. Um, let's get a scissors. Let's not try to pry that apart with our hands. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got some socks for my son. And they're in here on top. And I, I think they're okay. They look okay. Huh. Socks for my kids. Like I said, not all art supplies, and also hair dye for myself. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's two things in here, and this I'm actually super excited about. I'm hoping it works well. It's actually meant for the kitchen. It's kitchen clouds. It's the anti-fatigue comfort mat, but I got this to go in front of my easel for standing for long periods of time. Um, because I have inflammatory arthritis in my SI joints as part of my, part of my whole autoimmune disease. So I wanted to try this and see if this made it any easier. I'm a little worried about unrolling it because I've heard that there are wrinkles in these that don't come out. <laughs> um, and I got it in like a dark chocolate brown. So I'm really excited to get that set up and try it. And then I'm actually absurdly excited to try this. Um. This is not sponsored by Mead, and they did sponsor me in a video in the past. I just bought this because I wanted it. I bought Mead and stuff for a long time uh, before they ever reached out to me. Maybe that's why they reached out to me. Anyway, this is a porcelain mixing tray for watercolors. I was just feeling like I've got the little porcelain palettes. I've got the butcher's, um, butcher's tray, but I tend to use that with the gouache. And then it's always filled with gouache, and I don't want to use my watercolor with it. So... I got this a ceramic mixing tray. It's a little smaller than I thought, but I feel like it'll be really nice to mix stuff on here. Um, I'll link everything that I got down below. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, but it should still be good for mixing stuff on. Plus, it's a nicer size for sitting on my desk. Okay, and then the last thing is in here. This is the vitamin D. I knew that was going to be in there. Okay, so in here we have Cobra um, water mixable oil paints. Now these are not my main oil paints. Did I say that right? Main? Main? These are not my main oil paints. And then this one is the Cobra um, Red, I think the Transparent Red Oxide. Okay, these have made a giant breakthrough for me with my non-toxic oil painting journey. 
I am now fully confident that I can paint non-toxically with my oil paints. Um, okay, so that is this small series of boxes, and now we're going to go on to the much funner, more fun, the rest of the exciting supplies. I will say that the video for not completely non-toxic oil painting is coming soon if it's not up already. If it is up already, there will be words popping up here right now telling you it's up, and if that's the case, it'll be linked down below. Um, big breakthrough. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to tell you guys about it. Um, but for now, let's go on and open the rest of these packages because there are some really awesome supplies in it. So actually, first what I'm going to do is start out with showing you, I got a, just a couple of things as Christmas presents. Um, but mostly I got gift cards. So, but the couple of things I got as Christmas presents are, let's see if I can go close enough. This is the Daniel Smith Indigo watercolor. And then I got, um, this is not, I bought this for myself. This is the, the Hansa Yellow, I think the Hansa Yellow Light from Daniel Smith. And actually after I bought this, I went and checked my light fast testness, testness, <laughs> light fast testing <laughs> and this is actually not doing great I'm still okay with using it but I would prefer to find a better yellow which works out perfectly because one of my other presents was the core watercolor in Derelide yellow so I haven't tried any of these yet I haven't opened my boxes yet um, it's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> Uh, just watch everything and try it all. Maybe next week I might have to just do a big swatching video of all my new supplies. This was also a present. This is the Princeton Select Flat Brush in One Inch. This is one of my favorite brands of brushes for acrylic and oil. Um, I think I might try this one just for watercolor too and just see how that works for like a flat brush for watercolor. Um, but I love these brushes for acrylic and oil painting. And then the last Christmas present I got was the basic set of Posca markers in the 1.8 to 2.55 millimeter nibs with just the basic colors. I have never tried Posca before. I've never tried acrylic markers at all before and I'm really excited to try it. And there might be more related stuff in here. Okay, so um, let's see, what one am I opening first? I'm gonna have someone come in and move these boxes around for me because my arm I can't lift, so hang on. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start with this big Amazon box. This is something that I told myself if I stuck with YouTube for the whole year, put up at least one video every week at the end of the year, I got to buy myself. And it's the end of the year. Today is January 8th. Uh, January 15th is my one year anniversary here on YouTube. So close enough. I know I'm going to have videos going up through there. So I'm opening this today. Um, you may have wondered... Let's see how am I going to do this. You may have wondered why you haven't seen me do too much painting like on my easel or um, pastel on my easel and the reason for that is lighting. In this room with all these windows and the ring lights I've had a very very hard time doing anything on my easel so I am hoping this is the solution. This for me anyway was not cheap. This is the clamp duo lamp daylight lamp from the daylight company um i think this was 60 bucks it wasn't cheap for me uh but i'm really hoping this is the solution and that i will be able to fill more at my easel over here um i know that lockery fine arts uses these and she's one of my favorite uh channels to watch for acrylic painting tips i'll link her uh channel down below so you can see it and she uses this exact one so I'm really hopeful this is going to work for me and maybe later I can put in some footage and test it out and see how it works. So that is my, um, so maybe that one's not too exciting but I'm really hopeful it'll help the channel some. So let's see, which one should we open next? I've kind of lost track of what's in what. Let's open this one next. So I think I mentioned on, oh, one of my videos. Um, oh, the one with the very bad thing, <laughs> the worst thing, <laughs> um, just for an update on that, it continues to happen. It has happened every day since, uh, December 31st. YouTube has not been able to figure it out and they've not been able to stop it. So here's your reminder, <laughs> check to make sure that you're not unsubscribed because I have tons and tons of people telling me they've been unsubscribed. 
Um, I'll put the video about that link down below. It's uh, It says like the worst thing, 2024 started with the worst thing, and it is the worst thing that's happened to my channel. It's really discouraging. I'm having trouble keeping going. Um, check and make sure you're subscribed. I've had people telling me they've been unsubscribed, they resubscribed, they were unsubscribed again, and then had to resubscribe again. So just keep checking, I guess, you guys. I don't know what's happening, and I'm just trying not to focus on it. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm excited. Anyway, in that video, I said that this is going to be the year for acrylic, oil, um, um, watercolor, and I didn't mention it there, but also soft pastel. Those are the four things I'm focusing on this year, um, and I'm excited. <laughs> okay, you guys, we'll start with the, the least exciting things. This is some Liquitex Gesso. The reason I got this is because it's supposed to be nice and fluid, and I wanted to try it and compare it um, for the ones that I already have for paper surfaces, not canvas. This is for going to be like for painting and sketchbooks. Um, and it does feel really nice and fluid in there, so I'm excited. And then I got, this is one of my favorite matte mediums. This is the Liquitex Matte Medium. Um, again, nice and fluid, really nice. Uh, I really enjoy that. Yeah. I'm really excited about this. Okay, and then I got a new set of palette knives. This is the Liquitex Basics uh, Metal Painting Kni Knives six-piece set. Hopefully you can see that there. Uh -oh. I wonder if I should hold these up. I always get people telling me not to hold it up, but <laughs> there you go. Um, I either have people tell me like I, it's too far away and they can't see, or it's too close and the glare is too much, or sometimes people tell me um, I don't hold it up long enough. <laughs> I do the best I can. Okay, least exciting to most exciting. So golden, 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 and then this one is just a white box, but if I had to guess, I'd say golden, because I'm pretty sure that's what I got, but we'll check it all out. Okay, so I like the Liquitex um, Heavy Body quite a bit, um, but my favorite is golden, and this was also sort of a reward to myself for making it through the year, and also some encouragement to work more on acrylic this year. Um, I upgraded I upgraded you guys. I'm really excited. This actually, so I finally, to get paid for the Blick affiliate program, you have to have, um, uh, you can't get paid out till you reach at least $100. So I finally got my first affiliate, Blick affiliate payment, and this went towards this. It, I think it was more than this, but <laughs> a lot of it went to, towards this. So I got a big tube of titanium white. And let's see, I'll just put the back, boxes back in here. I'm, I think going to do a video on like how to choose palette colors because I get a lot of people asking me how I do that. I use a split complementary palette. Um, I feel like I can mix colors the best, plus I use a few convenience colors. And as luck would have it, I just pulled out one of the convenience colors right here. This is Dioxazine Purple. Um, I mix most of my colors, except like I said, I have a couple um, convenience colors. Uh, this is Cadmium Yellow Light. This is what my cool yellow. And then this is the zinc white. This is a more transparent white. This is what I would call a mixing white. Or if you're glazing for like, say smoke or fog effects, you're gonna want zinc white and not titanium white. So that is that box. This is gonna be, I'm really excited. This is really, I just had my first physical therapy on my shoulder this morning and it, it was kind of painful. And also she told me some things I don't wanna hear. <laughs> um, so at least I have this to look forward to, I guess. Ultramarine blue. This is my, I always have trouble with, I think this is my warm blue. <laughs> warm blue. I mentioned also in that video about the bad thing that happened. I was talking about picking um, a, a new palette and, or my palette colors. Um, and tell us, saying I have trouble telling warm and cool blues apart. Cadmium orange. This is one of my convenience uh, colors as well. I like a good orange. Um, and then Philo Green Yellow Shade. That is also a convenience color. I don't get a yellow. This is like a bluish green. Um, I don't get a yellowy green or a warm green uh, because I can mix it with that. That's just to, to start with to make things a little bit faster. Um, the faster I am, the better I find having to do all these videos and stuff. Um, oh, I guess I did get one. I got Philo Green Blue Shade and Philo Green Yellow Shade, and I think that was an accident. I meant to take the, <laughs> I meant to take the yellow out, and I didn't. But that's okay. Can't go wrong with paint, I guess. 
Um, whoops. And Philo Blue Green Shade. This is, maybe this one was my warm blue. I can never tell the warm and cool blue apart. Like, I'm going to look at it. And I don't think I'm going to be able to tell it apart. These are, so one of the nice things about Golden is they hand paint a swatch of the color right on here. Um, so this is the actual color. So you can see this phthalo blue green shade is, mu is much more opaque than the ultramarine blue. Um, and even looking at those, I cannot tell which is the cool and which is the warm. I guess maybe the ultramarine, I, th I don't know. <laughs> I think the the Philo Blue Green Shade was the one that was supposed to be cool, but I can't tell. Um, there was a printout that I used to pick it from, and I don't remember where I put it, but I linked it in that uh, the video I've been talking about, the bad thing that happened in 2024. The printout from Golden with all their colors, like on a spectrum from warm to cool for each shade, um, is in that video. There's a link to it, and that's how I picked these colors, just to make sure I was... <laughs> Accurate. Um, and then we've got our Pyro Red Light. This is my warm, warm red. And we have the, this is the Benzizimidizizaziza. <laughs> yellow Medium. This is my warm yellow. You don't have to have a warm yellow. That's for, sort of for convenience too. I, I could get by with just one yellow and warm it up with a little red. But again, for convenience. Mars Black. Um, I tend to like more of an ivory black, but they don't have that for golden. So, and then because you might be wondering, well, that's not a full palette. I did already have these three. I don't remember when I bought these, but it was recently, so I don't know if you guys saw them or not. But Burnt Sienna, Quinacridone Magenta, that's my cool, my cool red, and Raw Umber. And that is the basic palette I pick for watercolors, acrylics, oils. These colors are what I always, always, always pick. Um, these are the ones that I need. So that is the first box. And let's just maybe clear up here a little bit so I can, there are still three boxes to go. So let's move these out of the way. I can't wait for my new organizational thing to come that I just mentioned. Um, if you're watching this, you already saw that, I guess. <laughs> um, but I haven't seen it yet and I am really excited. I think it's going to make it much easier for me to paint um, and not have to worry about setup and stuff so much. So I'm really excited for that now. Which one should we open next? I don't fully remember what's in what. Let's do, I think I know. All right, so sticking with the whole golden theme. This is from Amazon, mostly because I had an Amazon gift card. Um, otherwise I would have got these at Blick too, but I got an Amazon gift card for Christmas. And of course, I was going to buy art supplies with it, so um, that's what's in here. <laughs> I think, I, again, I don't know if this will be airing in January or, January or February, um, but February is going to be a no-buy month, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Unless I run out of supplies or canvases or something. Okay, this is kind of fun. This is 16 highlighter pens, dual tip. I just thought these would be really fun for art journaling. Uh, I like the pastel color palette there. I've never tried anything from Mr. Pen. I don't know for sure if these are good or not, um, but I'm really excited to try them. Maybe I could do a swatching video. Maybe I could swatch all my new supplies and put it up um, right after this one. Okay. Ooh, okay, these, I'm really excited to try these. These are super exciting. Am I too far back? I don't know. Okay. Um, I'll show you the, the, let's, okay. I'm gonna, okay, here's the first one. I got golden iridescent pearl so if you can see that there this definitely is going to need to be swatched so you can see it and then i got golden interference gold i don't know if you can see that paint swatch up there at the top or not maybe and then i got i wonder why some of these are in bags and some of them aren't and two of them are in clear bags and one's in a white bag and then i got Golden, iridescent, bright gold. I don't know if you can see that or not on there at the top. It's so bright. There you go. Now you can see it. Here, maybe I can show you the other ones too real quick. This was the iridescent interference gold. So that's like a, depending on what angle you look at it, gold. And this is the iridescent pearl fine. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then we got, this is the white bag, like I said, one, one white, random white bag. 
This is the Iridescent Silver Fine. Let's see if I can hold it right up there. Iridescent Silver Fine. At least you can be seeing the tubes. I don't know how much the color is showing up. And then we have... Ooh, iridescent Blue. Iridescent? No, Interference. Interference Blue. Hopefully you can see it interfering. <laughs> And then one last thing in this box we have golden gold mica flake large and I can tell already that I wish I had bought a larger bottle of this. This is going to be so much fun to play with. It's actually like a real swatch of it on there. Like if you look it's like like it's on there. There's like a like a lump sticking out from the bottle. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I love how they do that. I didn't think they would do that on this but they did and it's awesome. <laughs> Um, I wonder if I should just put these all in the same box for now. So those are all, I think, all my golden colors, plus all these fun ones to play with. Did I need those? No. <laughs> Is it going to be something fun to play with? Yes. I am still not sure where I am at the whole, with the whole surgery thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. But at least I have some fun stuff to play with this winter. I do know... I was told today, so I do tons of cross-country skiing and snowshoeing in the winter, and I do yoga every day year-round, um, and I was told no to the skiing today. Um, and she's like, well, you can snowshoe as long as you don't fall. <laughs> so, and also no to the yoga, pretty much. Um, and I, I don't know. At least I have these art supplies to look forward to, right? This one's fun. <laughs> okay. This one's fun, you guys. Get ready. If you like Posca, I got the Posca Earth Tone set. And then I'll flip it around so you can see the back there. Hopefully it's not too bright and glary. I got the Posca <laughs> Cool Tone set. All the colors there and I'll flip it around. know how much of those light blues you can see. There's definitely a swatching video of all this coming, so be prepared. It might even be next week. And then I got the Posca Dark Colors set. So that plus the birthday, not birthday, Christmas set. All together I got four sets of Poscas. These are going to be so much fun. I hope I like them. <laughs> I'm thinking mixed media, canvas, I mark making. The, it's really why I got this. Oh no, that looks like the same marker. Oh no, there's a repeat, 31, 30, there's two. Oh man, I didn't know there were repeats. Oh, that's disappointing. There's navy blue in both of them too. Oh, I just assumed there wouldn't be repeats. Oh man, oh well. I think it was still a better deal to get sets, although I have lots of repeats apparently now. I wonder if there's any repeats in this one. Yep, the blue repeats. Both of the blues repeat. Oh well, that was disappointing. I don't, I don't know why I didn't check that. I normally would always check it. Like I would never buy a pastel set and not check it. I don't know why I didn't check it. Um, that's not like me. All right, so one more box here, and then that is it for this haul. Um, I mean, for me, there's still more stuff coming, but I opened it first, I think, so you probably saw it already. I'm really excited about this too, and thinking about it, I did not check to see if there were repeats in these sets either, and now I'm a little worried. <laughs> um, we'll see. Please don't let there be repeats. I got the Liquitex Acrylic Ink, what set is this? Aqua Colors, set of six. And I got the Liquitex Acrylic Ink Muted Collection set of six. So that'll be fun. I hope there aren't repeats in this. Actually, let's see if there's, there's a white in this one. There's got to be like the colors here somewhere. Well, maybe the only way to tell is to open them up and look at them. Hopefully there's not. It doesn't, there's one like tealy color there. It looks like it could be a repeat. Why didn't I think to look? <laughs> All right, let's open these quick and see if there's repeats of these. And then that'll be it for the art haul today. Okay. 
So I'm opening the muted one first. Okay. And then we will compare it to these. Please don't let they, there be repeats. I just hate it because I feel like it's wasteful. I mean, what if I, what if it's a color I don't use that much and it like dries out before I can use it? But mostly I feel like maybe I should have, if there's going to be repeats, I could have just bought other colors that I don't have. Can you see my, yeah, you can see it. Okay, please don't let there be repeats. Alright, this green color here is uh, Phyllocene Green Blue Shade. I can tell that's not a repeat. That's not a repeat. This is Muted Green. These aren't repeats. They are not. They're not repeats. Nope, they're not repeats. Look at how cute the little bottles are. Alright, come back next week. <laughs> we'll swatch all these out. Alright. So that was my art haul and it was a lot of fun and this is always like the biggest one of the year when I have gift cards to spend so it's a little sad there won't be another big one like this till next year but <laughs> um, it's it's also good to do like a no buy month and use your supplies too so um, if this is going up in January then February last year I did a two I did two no buy months right in a row I think I did I did actually I think I did three. I for sure did June and July as a no buy and I may have done I think I did two August no buy and then I bought stuff in September um so February is going to be a no buy and we'll see how that goes except I always make the rule that if I run out of something then I'm allowed to replace it so like if I run out of 8x8 canvases and I need more 8x8 canvases then I'll replace it but no like new supplies generally unless a company sends me one <laughs> people will ask you were like you always keep saying no more uh, art halls, but then you have new stuff to open, and I'm like, well, but I didn't pay for that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you had fun today with the big Christmassy gift card art haul. Um, I am really excited to use all these supplies going into the new year, and I hope you come with me to see the swatching and all the supplies. Um, if you want to join my Patreon, that'll be linked down below. Um, it's real fun. We have a lot of, um, like there's a Discord group, there's a Facebook group, there's a Patreon chat app. <laughs> and then we also do the Patreon lunch ba break, so there's lots of ways of interacting. Like if you don't like Facebook, there's other options. If you don't like Discord, there's other options. Um, and we do the sketchbook club, and we do exclusive videos, and we do um, Zoom calls. So go check it out if you're interested, and uh, please check and make sure you're still subscribed. Um, I'm really sorry, you guys, for the trouble with it. I'm really sorry if you've been unsubscribed and had to resubscribe. I don't know what's going on. I don't think YouTube knows what's going on. Um, I'm just going to try to keep going through it. It's disheartening. Sometimes I feel like, what am I doing this for? If my subscribers are going to keep being deleted, but I'm going to keep going because I know a lot of you really like the videos. Um, and hopefully it stops soon. Until next time, happy creating. Thank you.